Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So today we're gonna to go over the answers for estimating products with decimals, the worksheet and practice that you guys did. So first we wanna estimate each product, then find the actual product. We wanna figure out if our estimate is close to the actual product, and if it's not, we wanna figure out why. All right, so let's start off with the first one. I'm just gonna zoom in here. We have six and four tenths that we're multiplying with five tenths, and I know 5 tenths is the same as 1 half. So I'm going to take half of 6 and 4 tenths. And half of each of those would be the 3 and the 2. So I think it's going to be 3 and 2 tenths. Number 2. I know that 2 tenths is the same as 1 fifth. So if I split 10 up into 5 equal groups, I'm going to have 2 in each group. So I think the product will be close to 2. Number 3. I'm just gonna look at the whole numbers here. Five times five gives us 25, so I think the product will be close to 25. And our last one, we're gonna have to round both of these numbers to zero, and we end up with zero, and we'll see if our number is pretty close to zero. So let's go ahead and do the actual multiplication for each one of these. So I'm gonna start down here on the bottom. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. Now I want to count the decimal place values in both of these factors. They each have 1, so that means I need 2 in the product. So I'm going to scoot my decimal point over from the right to the left, two places, and we end up with 3 and 20 hundredths, or 3 and 2 tenths. Let's take a look at number two. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. Two times eight is 16. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. Two times zero is zero, and two times one is two. We're gonna count the place values of the factors. There's two in the top number, one in the bottom. That means we need three altogether in the product. So we're gonna scoop it over three times, and my decimal point goes between the two and the zero. So we have two and 16 thousandths. All right, on to the next question. Five times three is 15. Five times zero is zero, plus one is one, and five times five is 25. We have two decimal place values in that top number, none in the second number, so we need two in the product. And when we bump it over, that's 25 and 15 hundredths. The last one here, I'm gonna to have to zoom in. It requires some good eyesight here. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. Three times four is 12. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. And from here, we're gonna to have to count the decimal place values. Two, three, four, five. There's five in the top number, and one, two, three, four in the bottom number. So that means we need nine decimal place values altogether. So from the right side, I'm going to bump it over to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're going to fill all these spots with zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need 7 zeros before that 2, uh, before the 72. I'm going to say to the left of 72. And that doesn't include the zero in the ones place. All right, so let's take a look. Are our actual products close to the estimates? Well, for the first one, it's exactly the same. So that means we multiplied correctly and put our decimal point in the correct spot. For the second one, yes, those are pretty close. Two and two and 16 thousandths. The next one, 25 and 15 hundredths and 25, really close. And then this really small number here is pretty close to zero. So I would say we did a good job in um, correctly placing our decimal points and multiplying correctly. Okay, let's go on to the next part here. We want to put the decimal point in the correct spot for each problem by using estimation. So I'm going to round each of our numbers and then multiply, and then we'll decide where to put the decimal point in the actual 
product. Okay, so 3.24785 is really close to 3 or closer to 3 than it is to 4, so I'm going to round it to 3. This number here is close to 8, so I'm going to round it to 8. And when we multiply, we get a product of 24. So if I'm looking to place the decimal point to make sure this number here is close to 24, I would have to put it between the 5 and the 9 here. That would be the appropriate spot, and it would be 25.98421. These three dots mean I don't know what numbers come after it. Since we don't know what numbers or how many numbers come after it, I can't count the decimal place values in both these numbers and scoop it over. That strategy wouldn't make sense here. Estimation is our best option. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to round this number to 13 and that number to 7. And we're going to multiply 13 times 7 to make 91. All right, I don't see any 9 or 1 anywhere close, but if I place the decimal point right between the 8 and the 0 there, that's 88, 88 is close to 91. So it should go after that second 8 and before the 0. Our last question, I'm going to round the first number to 1. It's closer to 1 than it is to 2. And I'm going to round that second number to 7. And when we multiply, we get 7 as a product. So we want our number up top, the product, to be close to 7. So I would have to put the decimal point between the 9 and 5. 9.5 is pretty close to 7 compared to the other options of 9 point, uh, 0 0.959 and so on, or 95.9498. Those are really far away from 7, so those are not appropriate. All right, if you have questions, please ask during our Google Meet or through email or messages, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.